Hi guys, guess where I am? I'm at the United States Postal Service. Yep, this is my least favorite place in the whole entire world to go to. I hate the lines, I hate the cost, and if you're like me, you're always looking for a better, cheaper way to do things. As many of you guys know, I do have a uh, YouTube channel called Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, and I share lots of stuff that I bought really inexpensively. Now, wouldn't it be stupid to pay high cost to ship it? Yes, it would. So let me show you guys some of the tips and tricks of my trade, and we're gonna have to go back to my place, and I'll show you guys how to save money, sometimes up to three times the amount that you would normally pay at the post office. You could literally save close to a third of the cost from paying $31 to like paying $8. Wouldn't you like to save that money and put it back in your pocket? Well, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. We're gonna go back to the comfort of my home and I'm gonna let you guys see how to do it right through your home through pirateship.com. That is pirateship.com. Okay guys, so right here it says box or rigid packaging, any custom box or thick parcel. So basically any box, and I believe the cutoff is 18 inches by 18 inches, but this box was 13 by 11 by 11, and it weighed 20 pounds. So I'm gonna show you guys the price difference between just shipping a box, just a regular box, or putting it in a bag. And so I'll show you guys the rate for this just regular box is crazy a lot. Hold on a second. And to ship this would have been $25.52 to the 48195 zip code. So to ship this package would cost me $25.52. And the retail value regular at the post office, if you went directly to the post office, would have been $35.85. And I'm gonna show you guys the size of this box. Here it is just a regular cardboard box. It was 11 by 13 by 11, and that's what it would have cost me to ship it. Now, let me show you what it cost me if I put it in a bag. So this package would have cost me $25.52 to ship, and that would have been discounted through pirate ship. But I'm gonna show you guys a really unbelievable easy way to save money and a lot of it. Here at Pirate Ship, there's a drop down menu and it says box or rigid packaging. And then it gives you the option of envelope, padded envelope, poly bag, soft bag, or box in a bag. Now, here's the thing, you guys this box in a bag is like a wow factor. <laughs> All you got to do is find a bag big enough to stick that box that I showed you guys in and all of a sudden you get a humongous savings. I don't know why, but it works. And it says measure and use the length and width of the envelope before putting anything in it, which is really not that important because basically it just has to fit the box. So I sometimes for large boxes just use a good old garbage bag and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So here you guys go. Here's the crazy, crazy difference. Priority mail, cheapest one to three days, and it has insurance included. And it went from over $25 to $8.71. And all you got to do is put your box in the bag. And I'm going to show you how I do that really inexpensively. I don't always have bags big enough to fit my boxes, but I always have garbage bags. And I just wrap the box in a bag and it ships for $8.71. That is an enormous savings. Do you guys see that it says retail is $35.85? Pirate ship is the best kept secret on the internet. Friend mail and eBay businesses, Mercari, all of those places, you guys should be using pirate ship to save money and put it back in your pocket every day. Okay guys, so here we have package number one. As you can see, it just says box number one. And I happen to have a Mylar packing mailer that was uh, appropriate to wrap this box in. And I just taped it all around and I fit it in perfectly. But I'm going to show you guys what happens if your box is too big for your Mylar bag. You could still ship it out 
as a box in a bag and save all those Boku bucks. And I'll share with you how to do that in just one second. Another reason why you might wanna put a box in a bag is because maybe you have a United States Postal Service priority mailbox, but it's not big enough for what you're shipping. So like here, I have Frankenboxed two boxes together to create one larger box. And in doing so, it would not be able to be shipped at the United States Postal Service large flat rate box rate. But it is perfectly legal to put this box inside of a bag as long as you're shipping priority mail, which you are with pirate ship. So I'll show you what I do. Here it is, my Franken boxed extended size plus size box that I have Franken boxed and I'm going to weigh it and figure out what the least expensive way to ship this box is. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in a garbage bag this time. Now we're gonna measure the dimensions of the new box that we've created. So this one is 14 by 12. And it's just taller because I extended it by a couple of inches. So it's 14 by 12 by 12 and it weighs 18 pounds. So here you'll see that I put in the dimensions 12 by 12 and the height is 14 and it's 18 pounds. And I first put in box or rigid packaging, which is what I originally had. And if I had wrapped it in brown paper, then I would have to pay this price. And let's see what that is. That price is $24.46 as opposed to $34.50, which is what I would be paying at the post office. But if I just go back where it says, here is the package and here is just a regular black garbage bag. I'm going to put this box in the garbage bag and show you how I wrap it. And I'll show you guys how to do it on your own pirate ship account. If if you go back to the previous step and you just click here to the drop down menu and switch it to padded envelope, poly bag, soft pack or box in a bag. And you see that it automatically changes the dimensions to 14 by 12. It omits one, still has the same weight. And then we just go here to the get rates and we're gonna see a humongous difference. Yep, it went from over $24 to $8.71. Is there anybody out there that doesn't want to save money, you guys? You can keep in touch with your friends and loved ones. I have been shipping out supplies to many of the people who I service through my nonprofit organization the whole pandemic, and I have been saving money on every package I ship out because of these money-saving secrets of the pirate shipping trade. So go ahead and check out Pirate Ship and see how much money you save on your next gift. And here is the second box, you guys. I wrapped it in a garbage bag. As you can see, I just wrapped it. Once I put it in the box, I wrapped it like I was gift wrapping a bow around the box with tape and it ships at the discounted rate. Hopefully you guys will do the same in the future and save yourselves lots of money with putting your boxes inside of these bags. And I saved over $20 on each package. If you like saving money, then you're gonna wanna like and subscribe to this channel. And as always guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.